Today we're going to look at model number two from the Barbie Signature Looks Collection, coming up after this. So this is the only one that has shipped. It is the most beautiful doll I have ever seen in my entire life. Just look at that face. All of the heads on these are completely brand new and the packaging is minimal. I am going through a big minimalistic phase in my life right now. These couldn't have come at a better time. I don't think I need any other dolls. I think these are it. Something I was really curious about was the head size. These heads are definitely smaller than some of the other dolls. We have this fashionista. I will be swapping out other clothes in this video. Something else I have noticed with this packaging is those elusive Zara dolls that everybody wanted and they were so limited and I think they were only available in Europe. I'm pretty sure not in Canada at all. But it's the same kind of packaging. The packaging, it looks totally identical inside with the layout and the white basic. Uh, yeah, they were kind of like a preview of things to come with this line. I can't believe how much she looks like a superhero. She looks like a comic retro superhero. She's gorgeous. So it has been confirmed by the designer that these are based on Barbie Basics. I have to admit that they're even better than the original Barbie Basics. The Barbie looks. Even though I am a huge fan of the Model Muse body, which both of those lines use, or at some point have used, we're getting all of the things that are necessary here. We're getting a simple piece of clothing. We're getting the perfect face. We're getting posability and we're getting a stand. They're all of the things that the adult collectors who happen to act like children sometimes have been asking for. I'm surprised at how many people I have discovered don't really care for the made to move body. I've been playing a lot with my made to moves in preparation for getting these and I'm having a really good time with them, so they're really growing on me. I'm probably gonna get an extra set for display. They're affordable. I got mine from Amazon. I should have said this at the beginning. These dolls will be officially released on the 16th of June, 2021. And I think that is when the majority of them will ship. Amazon in a few countries put them out early and they quickly sold out a few times actually. They had some refreshes, there were some complications with uh, listings and how they were distributed, but in the end they worked it out. A lot of people got their hands on them. I did manage to order all six of them. Again, she is number two, model number two. They have model names just like the Barbie Basics and the box and the packaging is simple. I kind of like that it's in this gold, black and white and gold and chic style. I probably would have thought it was a little more classy had they used gold embellishments on these, but they did go with the silver every time there is some metallic. It seems they made all of the budget cuts in all of the right places. Something that they could cut back on are these certificates of authenticity. The last one that I opened up, I can't remember what it was. I guess it was the Barbie style doll. We had some better quality certificates of authenticity. This is not a regular piece of paper. I don't think that they need to include those in there. I guess it doesn't really cost them that much money. I've mentioned many times in my videos that I have trouble with breaking the clips on the stands and you guys have been so gracious in letting me know the correct way to do it. But I also noticed that there is a huge phenomenon of people who don't actually know how to put the doll on a stand too. I am well aware of the correct way to put the dolls on the stand so I think I should probably explain that. I have noticed that people have been questioning how easily 
the clip slides on the stand. And that's really on purpose. But how you're supposed to put your doll on your stand is carefully slide it in. I think this one is made differently. I think there's usually a middle joint here. So maybe this will help not break it. But the correct way is to put it on sideways, twist it carefully, and then put it on the stand like this. It's not dependent on this being tight. You want the doll to fall naturally with her own weight. And hopefully it doesn't break, even though I probably won't even use these stands. This is the stand that I love the most. That's more of a Barbie looks stand if you ask me, a nice metal that I love. Definitely more expensive looking. Why would we put her on a stand? We want to take a look at her. Let's look at this face. This perfect face. The paint is so nice. So well done. Every single one of these have new head sculpts and they are stamped 2020. So they have been working on this line for some time, but she is absolutely perfect. Probably the most, no, she is the most beautiful doll I have ever seen in my entire life. We've got the fro. Some of the pictures that I saw, the fro looked all messy, but I don't know if it's just an in-person thing, but the fro looks so great. It looks really natural and there's minimal box dent, if any. A little zhuzh. Yeah, she looks like she stepped out of a 1970s comic book. One of my favorite curvy boots. I have it in many colors. The silver is a welcome addition. The joints are all really tight and they seem much better than before. Double-sided tape, that might be a environmental choice. They're using less tape in this packaging, but they have used sticky two-sided tape that did leave some residue on the actual piece itself. The halter top is tied in a knot, but we're going to untie that because we are going to undress her. This is probably the most flattering outfit that the curvy girl has ever owned. You might notice that there are two different fabrications from the top to the bottom. So it's more of a shinier top part. And the bottom is a stretchier matte finish. No manicure. Like the made to move, she's got the non-pronounced toes on her feet. Not sure these come out. On my BMR 1959s, I was putting on some shoes and noticed when I took off some of the shoes that the feet came right out of their pegs. I was very worried I broke them. Can we look at this face again? Makeup is perfectly painted. I think all of them have these more pronounced lips. They all look like supermodels with a fantastic bone structure and yeah, they're all way too good looking. So I have this old complete set and always wanted to open it up. I think this is the perfect opportunity Unfortunately, in this line, I don't have a petite. I only have two curvies, a regular, and I believe she's a tall. I hope she's a tall. So then we can open them up accordingly with the other four dolls, which we have a tall, a petite, a curvy, and an original body. And then two cans are on the same body. This is Fashionista number 84. She looks like she is from of this wave. But one of the deluxe special ones that came with an extra outfit. Now, in comparison, I look at this and uh, these <laughs> how can we go back to these fashions? However, there are a few pieces on here that would be very nice for her. The Velcro down the back. I never had a problem with Velcro because Velcro gives a much flatter profile than any snapper button that you can put on, and it holds the clothes more neatly closed. Okay, so I struggle with the two knots that are tied in the back, and you take it off. And then this one piece Barbie signature tag inside. This is the construction. If you can see it, it is constructed so nicely, and you can tell that the material on this piece is really great quality, really stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. Top quality. They saved a lot of money on this line. 
by making all of the cuts to the budget in the perfect place. $20 price tag if I didn't mention how much they cost. That's amazing. In Canada, I'm assuming that they're going to be about 30 because that's the markup that we're getting. So it is the same price for me to order them from the States. I guess they account for that when they do the conversions. I was worried about filling the time in the review, but I think this is going to end up being a longer video. So let's put her in a standard outfit. This might be sacrilegious to dress her up in this. Wow, it's super hot. I have fans off to record. Okay. Uh, yeah. I feel horrible about doing this to her. This is wrong. This is kind of like that old adage that curvy girls don't have the best fashion options available to them. This is an outfit that was meant to capture a child's attention, bright colors and fun. It's so funny that all of the things that would have made me like this better, like if they would have used a simple piece of cheaper material that didn't have a print on it, so it would have been less expensive if they wouldn't have paid for a printing on this material and just used the actual material, if they hadn't sewn on the sleeves and didn't print any words on this t-shirt, I would have loved this t-shirt. Let's put some white sneakers on her. Now these white sneakers are a classic. These I definitely support and love. I'm getting over my dislike for Barbie's small feet, at least on the curvy and the tall. They have larger sized feet. She looks horrible in this outfit. I have to, can't, I can't do that to her. The set comes with a nice chanel -y purse in pink. I like that. I like this necklace. I believe I just got it in this color from the Dollar Tree fashion packs, but that I like that she can wear. Can I salvage anything? I could make her do like some kind of avant-garde fashion look for an editorial. Okay, these are a good looking pair of sunglasses that I should probably try on. We've done the vac metal. That silver is one of those colors that they're using for this series. So why not put her in those, even though we're covering up her beautiful eyes. But look at those lips. So yeah, okay, the glasses and the necklace are a win. And I don't mind the pink Chanel bag if that's gonna be the only pop of color that she has in her outfit. So that's the best look I can get out of these things. <laughs> that's good, okay, let's try this dress on her. So the dress is a little better, but with these stripes, it's a very late 90s, early 2000s, overly busy detail that I just, I don't find flattering. And it's also horizontal stripes, not something that a curvy girl is gonna wanna embellish. This doll is kind of pretty, but in comparison, and just like with the BMR 1959 dolls, they are using smaller heads. With the BMR 1959s, they went with classic heads, which do tend to be a little smaller, so they used older head sculpts. I said in those reviews that it did make them look more expensive, and it did make them look classier and more like collector dolls. And I definitely agree with that here. You can definitely see the difference between the playline and this totally new adult looking collector doll. There's a huge, huge difference there. Let's compare the bodies. The bodies are the same. The made to move one just has the added articulation. You guys all know the amount of articulation that is. It does make them look a little more robotic, but she does look really, really stiff. Okay, let's try this dress on her. This dress is way too busy that I wouldn't want to add any accessories with it if she is going to get away with it, but you can see, not flattering. I'm pretty sure every one of these would have been different depending on where the stripe would have fallen, depending on how they cut it. And where the pattern falls is particularly unflattering. I'm sure we could pose her in a way to make it look 70s retro, but if you want to see more videos of me dressing her up in nicer looks, then let me know. I'll give you some tips on people who don't have curvy dolls on things that they can wear in your own collection. 
you'll be surprised at uh, some of the things that you might have with the Barbie fashionistas and the Playline dolls. Every once in a while we do get a piece that is a surprise and a diamond and a rough, which is why I have collected so many fashion packs throughout the years. Okay, stay tuned to the end. We'll see what she looks like in the one piece jumper. Love to know your opinion of these dolls. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Why did I take off my glasses? This is totally going to elevate her look. She's going to look really expensive in this. When I did my BMR 1959 review, this is exactly what I said in the reviews. I said, I love these dolls. The fashion is not my style. I would love if they continued making these dolls, but made like a Barbie Basics black and white version. And they did. I'm so happy. And then all of a sudden, she looks really expensive. She doesn't have the high heel foot. Can put her foot in there awkwardly. But I think her sneakers would look fine with this outfit. It's a classic white sneaker. I can cover up her face as much as possible with the glasses. Okay, style fashion tip. Always remove one piece before you go out the door. That's going to be the necklace in this case. She'll need her purse. Even though I would have went with the, the white one. I think I do have this in white. And I totally would have gone with that instead. Isn't it funny how the right outfit can make you look prettier than you even thought you were. She looks good. She looks good in this necklace. That's all she needs. Maybe I'll have to do a beauty shot of her, her Instagram, just above the bust with her Dollar Tree necklace on and her sunnies. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. Can't wait to get more of these. Don't be afraid of putting silver and gold together. Don't be afraid of putting black and blue together either.